Hey guys, well, while playing King of the Mountain, my dozer broke, and so I think the mountains win again. So we're gonna tear into this, see what happened. I did pull all the bolts out. I uh, just wanna give you a quick update on the tracks. And so these are the upgraded wide tracks, and everything's looking really good on them. Uh, you can see the wear right in those locations there. Uh, it just, it's rubbing the paint off and that's just got a really tight fit uh, around this gear right here and it's still really tight even as the paint's wearing off so very very tight tolerance with the stock gear with the upgraded tracks so you can still see it pull some and kind of slap the track as it's driving because it's such a tight fit but it's all right it's working good but let's Dig into this thing. So I do have the master pins, so it made pulling that track out pretty easy. Just pulled that screw out, pushed the pin out of the way. So that's a nice upgrade with those tracks as well. But we're gonna see what exactly is going on in here. Oh, and I thought this would come out a little easier. Might have to get my screwdriver here on there nice and tight usually that thing just falls off of there just get a little tap a -roo. just a nice little tappy tap tap And it still doesn't want to give it up. Wowza. Okay, I got a little gap now. Let me see if I can get a skinnier driver in there. There it is. Okay. Hey, that don't look like broken. Unless it's deeper within. in good shape who knows maybe the motor just stopped working all right so got her completely broke down motor runs so these gears this is the outer ones are the ones that usually break on me uh, so now we're, we're looking at something that's seized in here I'm not seeing anything right off the bat that looks funky, but let's tear into it and see what we can find here. sticky but push out the back here so that that's got to rotate These guys, I tried to pull these out. They didn't want to move. So there's some gears in there on that one.
This thing does not want to rotate. Something got it jammed up good in there. Might have to use some persuasion here. All right, so here we are. This is the problem. Um, as you can see, this little ear broke off. That's not supposed to be an ear. That's supposed to be a round rod so you can see they're worn evenly except for the one that broke and that's what caused all of our issues and so you know, those rods are supposed to go inside those gears but I'll explain more here in just a minute okay so I set it on this gear did a little more persuasion and got it out and look it was still really hard even when the gears popped out but look what we have here yeah that's right look like that little metal ear that come off of that piece that tiny little thing right there just shut that drive down and the problem is <laughs> it's gonna keep it shut down until i replace it man all right okay so this was a self-inflicted wound i brought this damage upon myself um when i put this back in i must have miscalculated and got the pins because i think those were pins in instead of getting them in the gears the holes managed to get them just on each side of the hole and the gears just wore down those pins until it finally sheared what was left of one and that's what jammed everything up in here was that piece of the pin right there what was left so i broke the others off um drilled those out again and i don't have any three millimeter rod I do have some three millimeter screws. I was wanting to run this tonight for the project I've got going. So I'm gonna try and see if I can make these work for now. And then we'll put the three millimeter rod in when it comes in. Okay, so what I did is I just cut the head off of uh, these guys. And I just dropped it into the holes that I drilled. I've got the gear set in on top of those and now I just got to okay okay so now I get those meshed in there and slide that into the sleeve should sit there something like that and then that whole sleeve slides back in there you got those little prongs tabs that slide in there so the whole thing is going to be just trying to make sure that 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 stays put all right so watch what i'm talking about with it grabbing because of the tight fit of that gear in the tracks. Watch what the tracks do. noisy even without running on rock and stuff so it's really hard to tell if things are binding or not until it just 
kind of stops going. But well, I'll just run it and see what happens. All right, I got my three millimeter rod in, stainless steel. So we're gonna see if we can do this on the fly without taking the track off of here. To access the those inner gears. Let's see how that works out. It may not. Look, it comes right out of there. And that is why we had this problem in the first place. So if you're not careful, if that comes out, and even if it doesn't come all the way out and you push it back in and it's not perfectly aligned, those pins are not going to line back up with those gears. And you can wind up off set like it was. So... Be cautious taking this off because once you pull that cap, if that if that gear comes out with it and it pulls those pins with it, that can be a real booger to get back in there right. You might have to pull the retaining ring like I did here, get that other gear set out, and then put the three gears back in, get everything put back in place, just kind of like what I'm doing here in the remainder of this video to get those back in place. You just don't take any chances or you'll wind up with a jammed up drive like I had here. That rod fits much better. We'll drop a gear on there and then we'll mark it for cutting. Just gonna cut it with my Dremel here. So I made my three pins, stick them in here. Those are fitting nice. My gears. And I might need to grind that guy down a little bit but let's see if one of these holes is a little bit deeper ah oh, there we go ah oh, beautiful so I, I drilled one of my holes just a little bit deeper so there we go those all fit nice Not gonna go back in there nicely without taking this plate off and that other gear out of there. But what I can maybe try to do, try to probably just be faster just to pull it than to try to manangle that gear into place.
It's only four screws to pull this retaining ring off. The hard part is going to be getting that other gear out of there again. Well, that'll make me double, triple check things, I suppose. Because doing this has been kind of a pain. I got, there's pins, deep this pin and oh, this pin right here that got to come out of there. I don't want to lose those. Because I'm sure it's a completely different size. Happen to use my dental tool. So what happened is I think that pulled out when I was checking the gearing on this side because this one's the, the stock gearing. So I hadn't rebuilt this side, but I was checking it and lubing it. I think that might have popped out and I didn't get those pins back in the holes of the planetary gears and so those pins were riding in between the planetary gears this is four gear that's three gear but it was just riding in between those and so the pin was there and it was rubbing so it wasn't really catching but it was just it was wearing them out until it just warmed down to nothing i broke the one off so just a mistake on my part but at least hopefully this will repair it and get this back in. Let's see, what did I do with my other guy on the floor? Push those back in place there. And then this is going to be the hard part. Is I, now I got to make sure that this lines up with my holes. Bit, a little bit off there. Try. Yeah. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, see, it pulled it pulled right out. Ah, uh, man, <laughs> great! I forgot to put the ring on there. And that's how easily that thing can get messed up. So you notice it didn't pull all the way out, but it did pull out enough to where it would have disengaged the pins from the gears. In this case, the pins pulled out of the uh, primary gear. I did cement those in place. Uh, but even if it pulls out a little bit and you're trying to push it back in, you meet the resistance, you give a little bit of rotation. If you get the rotation wrong, it feels good in there. There's barely any slop with it in between those gears. It feels right, and it runs fine for a little bit, but those pins not being in those gears is what's going to cause a major problem. So again, just for emphasis, really pay attention if that gear pops out on you, that you're getting those pins back inside the center of those gears. And it may be to the point where you have to take the retaining ring that... Uh, halo ring gear out as well to get those gears back in place and just be careful and make sure everything gets put back in place like in this case the i forgot to put the ring back on there and so when i pulled it out those center gears grabbed a hold of that <laughs> center gear pulled it right out with it and so then you'd have to go through the whole process again like i'm having to do here so it's something just to keep keep an eye on and be mindful of uh, to prevent a uh, self-inflicted wound like I had with this. All right. So now this time, I got it in there. Got our axle in. Uh, this has got to go in next, this gear here. these pins we'll just push it level put our retaining ring on this time Get this in, and then, oh, where it is? Get my little Allen wrench. This one fits these better, so we'll tighten them with this one. Okay, all right, so those are tight. Now, now we can put this guy on. Sure, all of our gears and pins are in there. All right. Slide in. Now we need to rotate forward a little bit. Probably right in there. It looks like she's going in, so we'll, we'll leave it loose. And one of these, I've got the strip, I think it's that one right there. I've got the broken off screw inside the hub. started 
fully centered down. And I'm missing one. There it is. Found it. It's not missing anymore. Start hiding under the tools and rags over here. And now we'll sink that down. Now she's ready to push. Go get some work done. 